ridiculous. But um, I'm going live from the uh, Minnetonka Triathlon. Finish line here. All the uh, all the pros and their bikes. Award ceremony coming. The reason I'm doing this video is last year was my first triathlon at this race. Well, a first attempted triathlon. And uh, I was in the water at about 300 meters, um, pretty much dying because I'm not a great swimmer and I was like terrible at that point. And they canceled the race because this huge storm came in and there were white caps and stuff. And for a novice swimmer like me, it was quite terrifying. So I made it my goal this year to come back here and uh, do this race and finish it. So got in the water, did a bunch of swim training and did the Buffalo Triathlon two weeks ago. Uh, did pretty well in that one, finished in the top half. So that was my first finish triathlon. Uh, this one though, I got in the water. It was an 800 meter swim, pretty much killed it. There was a guy who swam the back 400. He's like, do you want me to swim with you? I'm like, you can if you want. And it made a big difference um, for me. I swam, didn't stop once. Got out, got on my bike, made it out to shoot and I popped the front tire and I was like, no, I gotta finish this race. So I looked around, there was no one at the Gear West tent, rode my bike into Excelsior here to the bike shop, it was closed. So I rode back, you know, keep in mind my front tire's flat, to the course and I'm like, screw it, we're running flat. We're gonna do 15 miles on a front flat tire. If it blows up, if it falls off, I'm gonna carry it the rest of the way because I gotta finish this race. Gotta slay the dragon this year. Made it 15 miles. I had to be a little cautious on the bike, but I made it 15 miles with a flat. Uh, I'll, I will learn to change a flat tire or a bike tire now. And then, um, you know, got back into the chute, went for a run, passed about 40 people running, and finished the race. So sometimes it's about winning, sometimes it's about uh, showing up and finishing. Uh, have a great day. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, there's a lesson here for somebody.